leave it all behind you. I said, take down everything that stands in your way. Don't stop believing it'll work out again, my friend. Stand out, be a part of everything. Good. Wake up, you're gonna be all that you should. Try out all the things you always wanted to be. You. Cause I know what I know That you've got it in you And I see That you are a winner The blue skies that gonna go on and on All day If you go then you know You'll get up a mountain And I'll show you Life is a fountain of love It's all yours So drink in the summer sun All the way just created a Facebook group to help others worldwide through acts of service, both in this season of giving as well as throughout the year. It's called Help a Mere Stranger. Uh, the founder, Sarah Page Wells, joins me now to tell us how this all works. Sarah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we need more people like you in this world. This is so perfect, especially this time of year where people love to give back. Uh, so what made you decide to start this group? Okay, that's an excellent question. And um, about five years ago, I was diagnosed with a heart condition. I'd been helping people all my life, and I could no longer do that particular uh, job. So one morning, I literally woke up, and I had the idea of help mere stranger, how I could get people to help people, and I could validate them with my artwork. And that's how it started on uh, Facebook. That's so beautiful. Uh, so tell us how it works once you join uh, this Facebook group. Okay, great. So. You basically help a stranger, that can be a person or an animal. So you help them, you're a stranger, then you share your story with our group, then you give me approval to share that story on Facebook. Then at that point, you're considered a winner, you PM me your address and you receive a piece of art and that art would be either from myself or I actually have about 15 contributing artists, so from one of us. That sounds simple enough, and uh, we're looking at photos uh, of people giving back. Uh, any cool stories you want to share with us from the group? Yeah, I actually have quite a few. If you don't mind, I'll talk fast so I can get them in. Is that okay? Okay. Great. So um, there was a lady walking down the street and she saw another woman pushing a baby in a very small baby carriage. When she pulled up her car, she found out it was a baby carriage for a doll. And she said to the lady, um, hang on, please. I will be right back. And she went to her home and she picked up her old baby carriage and brought it to the lady so that she could have a real baby carriage. Oh. And I think that's like a pretty great story. Um, another, another good one 
is a friend of mine had a garage sale and the little boy, he, he traveled really far to get the bicycle that she had for sale. Mm -hmm. Well, when they got there, uh, his mom couldn't afford the bicycle. So my friend basically gave the boy the bicycle and he was very, very happy. Uh, that was a big, a big success as well. Um, another story, a friend of mine in Northbrook, his name is Michael Sell. He does a lot for us on Help Him or Stranger. Uh, he was walking in his neighborhood and he, he saw a guy collapse. And the guy was in his own yard and he ran to the door. He got the wife. He, he called EMT and he stayed with them until so EMT came and could actually, you know, give him the help he, he needed. Um, a recent story. Now, this fellow was not yet a member of our group, but his name is Nick Bostic. And he is a pizza, he was a pizza delivery guy. Mm -hmm. This was several, several months ago in Lafayette, Indiana. He was uh, driving by a house which was on fire and he noticed there was no fire truck. So he himself got out of his, his, his uh, van, he ran in the house and he saved six people's lives. Oh my goodness. Now, um, I tracked him down and I wrote him a pretty decent poem and I made him a painting and I gave it to him and he's now joined our group. Oh, um, this is so oh, awesome. Right there, you have, you have the um, Honest Pirate. Uh, the Honest Pirate is actually in Florida, and what he does is he finds people's treasures. So if you lose your wedding ring in the ocean, a watch, anything like that, he will take his special equipment and he will find your missing item. And I'm and sure that happens a lot. You, like totally free of charge. <laughs> I'm sure that happens a lot. Before we let you go, we don't have much time left. Uh, please tell okay. us how people can get involved. Okay, to get involved, please go to Facebook and look up Help From Your Stranger, become a member, and I will send you a personal uh, a private message. Sarah, you're awesome. Your green glasses are awesome. Just a lot of awesomeness happening with this Facebook group as well. Thank you for your time this morning. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me share. Uh -huh. We'll be right back. Social media, a great way to connect with new and old friends from the past. But one woman is taking advantage of making connections to help the homeless. Sarah Page Wells joining us now to tell us how she's using Facebook to help the homeless throughout the year. Sarah, good morning to you. So just, just start right off the bat here. Tell us about your story and how this Facebook page came about. Okay, great. What happened was in, um, well, actually in 2019, I was uh, scrolling through Facebook and I came across somebody, David Floodstrand, who was on his own, passing out water, he was giving oranges, he was helping the homeless at Lower Wacker Drive. And I thought, oh my God, this can't happen. He can't do this alone. So I reached out to him and uh, we became friends. And we started the group, Art for the Homeless, Artists Supporting Effective Solutions. This is a beautiful thing. As we look at some of the pictures, tell me about how the artists become a part of this. Uh, what, how does this benefit the homeless? Okay, great. So I found most of the artists from my church and my high school. And uh, as we grew, then artists asked to join. That picture there is from David Floodstrand, the uh, founder, and I'm the co-founder of the group. Well, artists basically uh, post their work and then they sell it in our group. And they, from their own decision, decide how much they would like to contribute to what shelter, a shelter in their area, or you know, even, even to a, a food bank, something like that. But we mainly help shelters that are already established, such as uh, Lincoln Park Community Services here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. They've been around for 35 years. They are so established that they can help hundreds of people with housing, with uh, job skills, uh, you don't actually graduate from that organization. 
and so you do have a job and a stable place to live. Okay, this is oh, a beautiful oh, thing oh, that I, you are doing. I have to know, how much okay. money have you raised so far for the cause? Okay, um, I would like to say thousands of dollars in monetary plus in um, other types of donations uh, from our artists. And as the artists can decide how much they want to contribute, um, sometimes it might be a small amount, sometimes it might be a large amount. Okay, Sarah Page Wells, what a great thing you're doing. Thank you for sharing this with us and keep up the good work and contributing for a wonderful cause. So nice to meet you. You have a wonderful day. Okay. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. 